Hello there. My name is Maura Lucente and I am a senior pink cat life driving sales director with Mary Kay. I have been with Mary Kay now for about uh, just over 11 years and I'll have been a sales director for 11 years come December, which is crazy. So much life has happened since I started my business until now. Um, but I wanted to come and share a couple of tips with you um, in regards to time management and how to work this around a busy, full life. We certainly have a busy, full life. Uh, we have a four and a half year old and we have 19 month old twin identical girls. <laughs> so if you can imagine our life got a little crazy uh, and I really, I think, had to become very effective with my time. Um, not even by choice. Uh, it's just what I had to do. And you know what? It's changing all the time. I'm figuring it out all the time. But it always starts with a weekly plan sheet. Um, I'm a digital person, but I actually always will write down using the weekly plan sheet that you can just find on uh, Mary Kay In Touch. It's so important, you guys. Uh, my unit members know that I talk about this often. And these are my weekly plan sheets back to a really long time ago, um, before we earned our first pink Cadillac, before we earned our first car even. Um, because you can't do something when you don't know when you can do it. My favorite saying is, because the more scheduled you are, the more free time you actually have. So if you do what you, are supposed to do when you say you're gonna do it. You can do what you want to do when you want to do it. So if you do what you do when you say you're going to do it, you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. So we all struggle and go through the same battle of, um, you know, maybe you're sitting there and you're like, I've gotta make phone calls, I've gotta make phone calls, and then you're like, oh, time's up. Now it's too late to phone people, and then maybe you sit down and you, turn on a show on Netflix and then you're just sitting there feeling guilty like, oh, I should have done this and I should, you're not even enjoying your time. And, or I've had this happen too, where I didn't do what I was supposed to do. So then when my husband came home and we were supposed to have our, our time together or our family time, and then I'm like, oh, I've really got to make these calls. And then I'm taking away from my family time. And my husband is the biggest supporter of my business. He was one of the reasons I began my business. But when I start to creep into our time, because I didn't do what I was supposed to do when I was supposed to do it, um, I'm now stealing from my family's time. And that's just not really fair, right? And then they get frustrated. Um, and that's where Mary Kay can become a burden and not a blessing to your family. And it is a complete blessing. And so I just wanted to talk to you about some really simple tips and things. Um, and the other thing I want you to know is you don't have to have like one, two or three hour blocks of time so that you can be effective and get stuff done. You can be very efficient in 10 to 20 minutes. And if you literally only have 10 to 20 minutes, when you sit down to make your phone calls or do whatever you need to do, trust me, you're going to sit down and you are going to do it. Because if you spend 10 minutes, you know, getting some coffee or whatever, your time is up or my time is up. So when you're setting up um, a weekly plan sheet, how you want to do it is you first want to put in any orders of anything that um, uh, Mary Kay has always suggested in, in the priorities that are important to you and important to us. Uh, Mary Kay was always faith, family, and career. And so you would want to put anything that, you know, if you are uh, attending church or you have um, 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 Bible study groups or anything along those lines, that's going to go into those spots. And you're going to put that on here first. Um, or if there's anything else that is that important to you, it's going to go in here first so that you know no matter what, that is happening. Um, then you're going to put in your family time. Where does the family time go? And then if you have another job, you're going to put that onto the weekly plan sheet. And then you are going to sprinkle Mary Kay in and around all those other spots that you have available. If you work another job, something that I used to do before I would go home, this is even before we had any kids, I would get in my car and before I drove home from work, I would make 
I would have a set time. It would be like 10 minutes or, or a certain number of dials. Um, I started doing a certain number of dials because I could really waste time uh, and not call a whole lot of people. If I gave myself 20 minutes, I could call two people. And I was like, ooh, that's not very effective. So if I had 20 minutes, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to do 10 dials because uh, not everybody answers the phone. And then I would drive home and then uh, before I went into my house, I would make another, you know, five dials, 10 dials, whatever your goal is. And then I would be done my phone calls. So then I got home and when I went inside, I could do my house stuff um, or, you know, make dinner and all of those things that we need to do as soon as we get home, take care of your kids, uh, whatever it is. And now my schedule looks very different. So I schedule things that um, I need uninterrupted work time for, for when I know 100% that I have help with my kids. Um, so for example, uh, my husband is home and he's upstairs right now and uh, the babies are sleeping and our four-year-old, they're playing. And so this is uninterrupted work time. So I had done some phone calls and things before this. I had done a video appointment and now I'm creating this video for you uh, so that I'm uninterrupted and you don't have crazy chaos going on while I am trying to give you my very, very best. And then what I do is um, during nap time or um, during a time that I know um, maybe I can get a couple minutes here and a couple minutes here. And I just mean maybe sending some text messages, maybe um, those kinds of things where if I don't do it at exactly that time or if I get interrupted, which is always, um, that I have another time that I can do it. But that's just kind of extra. Oh, I can reply to that. Oh, I can send her uh, the um, product fact sheet about that because she had some questions or things that if I have twins and a four-year-old screaming in the background, they can't hear that while I'm sending a text. But I also don't plan to do a whole lot of stuff because I literally at times um, don't have a hand to even text. And what I discovered is I was getting really frustrated. And I don't know if you have children, um, if this is something that you can relate to, but I was feeling stressed because I was not being present when it was mom time. Um, I felt like I wasn't getting anything done work-wise and I felt like I was failing at that and then failing at being a present mom and because I was trying to do it all at the same time. And no one was happy. The kids wasn't ha weren't happy, I wasn't happy, and trial and error, right? Um, people have always told us and taught us not to kind of work like that. Um, you know, we work from home and we work around our family, but not with our family because it's not going to work for you and it's not going to work for them. So when I'm with my kids, I'm with my kids. But if I, like I said, if I have like a minute, I might reply to a text and then I have my work time carved out so that I know exactly when that is so that I still know that I'm being effective. And then you have to look at what your goals are and look at the time that you have carved out for your business and ask yourself, do those line up? Do I have enough work time carved out in my plan to match the goals that I'm going for? And if you don't, then you have two options. One is to adjust the time that you're willing, to, willing and able to put in for the outcome that you want or Maybe it's just not a possibility for you um, or whatever that might be. And then you just need to adjust the goal so that you're having wins and the time that you're putting in is is giving you what you're working towards. Um, because when you're having wins, you're going to want to do more. You're going to work from a place of joy and that is really going to affect the results that you have. But before you can do any of that, before you can focus on results, before you can all of those things, you really have to know what you are doing and when you are able to do it. Even before you pick up the phone and call one person, you need to know when you talk to them, when are you able to book them? So you need to know what is that time that I am offering people that I am available to have uh, a Mary Kay pampering session. Uh, virtually or in person if you guys are doing those we're still uh, all virtual out here um, but for me I have a hundred and fifty percent loved this working from home being able to pop downstairs for half an hour here half an hour there um, you know 
connect with women, pop their samples in the mail. I'm loving it. And it has just made it so easy to be able to sprinkle it in from home. Um, or if, you know, 10 o'clock at night, you want to be able to go live in your client group and do a little demo because that's the time that works for you. And they can watch it when a time um, works for them. I think it's amazing. I think it's such a blessing in disguise, all that has happened here. So those are my little tips about how to kind of sprinkle things into your life. I hope that that is helpful. Please feel free to ask me any questions that you may have, and I will be happy to answer them. Hope to hear from you soon. Happy planning.